William Hawley Elementary School opened in September 1995. The school was named in honor of a lifelong Fairfax County resident and supporter of the public schools. William Francis Hawley was born in 1874 to William Hawley and Susan Howard. His birthplace, named Smoky Castle, once stood in what is today South Run Park. In 1896, Hawley married Dulcie Beach, a daughter of David Beach, who was a school board member, postmaster, and storekeeper. A farmer and sawmill operator, Hawley was often hired by the Lee District School Board to provide firewood to the schools at Burke, Lorton Valley, and Silverbrook, which were kept warm during the winter months by wood-burning stoves. Around 1920, the Silverbrook School, once located near Silverbrook United Methodist Church, burned down. According to local tradition, when the construction of a new schoolhouse was delayed due to lack of funding, William Hawley agreed to purchase the timber for the building, have it shipped from North Carolina at his own expense, and saw the lumber at the mill on his property with the stipulation that the school board reimburse him when funding became available. After the new school, called the Lorton School, opened in 1922, William Hawley drove eight children to and from school daily in his Chevrolet truck, so they would not have to walk through the grounds of the Occoquan Workhouse and Reformatory. Over the course of the next decade, William Hawley convinced the school board to provide the first permanent school bus route in the Silverbrook community, assisted with the construction of a two-room addition to the Lorton School, and continued to provide firewood to the rural schoolhouses of Fairfax County. William Francis Hawley passed away in 1954 at age 80 and was buried in Lee Chapel Cemetery. In the 1990s, when what was tentatively known as Pohick Elementary School was under construction, William Hawley's name was proposed and chosen as the permanent name for the building. The Hawley family was very appreciative and donated William Francis Hawley's pocket watch and cufflinks to the school where they are proudly displayed to this day.